Hello everybody. Well, I'm using the Dash Mini Pie Maker again today and I want to show you how to make a Cheddar Bay Biscuit in the Dash Mini Pie Maker. I'm using a one-third cup measuring cup and self-rising flour. Make sure it's self-rising flour or you're going to have to add baking powder. Okay, so one-third cup of self-rising flour. These are so easy to make and so delicious. And now for some seasoning, I'm going to use some garlic powder, just a little sprinkle like that. This is all according to your taste. And then Old Bay seasoning. Just a dash of that, about like that. You'll have to make one and then taste it and decide if you like yours a little more or a little less. And then we want to grate in about a tablespoon of butter, maybe a little less. You can see what I'm doing here. It's not, really, it's not that much. Nice, fresh, real butter. That's what you want. Let me clean this off. We don't want to waste any of that butter if we can help it. Now this is just going to make one. So this recipe really is just for one person. You could make more and then milk and all you need is three tablespoons of milk. Now I have a traditional recipe for the Cheddar Bay Biscuits and I'll put a link to that and they're delicious but you have to you know heat up your oven and make a big pan. This is much easier much quicker and you only use three tablespoons of milk and a third cup of flour Okay, and now all you have to do is gently stir this together. There's no need to really stir it quickly. You want to give the flour enough time to absorb the milk. So just gently turn it over. This is so simple, and you're going to be so pleased with the result. The uh, Dash Mini Pie Maker is so versatile. I use it to make all sorts of things. It's really good if you're single and you don't need to make a, a lot. You know, sometimes a family doesn't want biscuits, but maybe you do, and you can make yourself one. Or just one member of the family wants biscuits. You could make them one like this. And of course, the biscuits that come out of this mini pie maker are a little different than traditionally baked biscuits because of the crisp outer coating, because they're cooked with, in direct contact with the, the heating element in the mini pie maker. As soon as that light goes off, it's ready. Let me put this butter back in the refrigerator. Now it's ready, and all you have to do, you can see how that's mixed together. It's rather on the wet side. We're going to pour enough to cover the bottom, and then we want to stop so we can put some cheese in. Now it should be cheddar cheese, but I have this mixed blend open, and so I'm going to use that. Any kind of cheese is good. We want to get a little pinch of cheese. And this is up to you as well to make this a wonderful Cheddar Bay Biscuit. And once we put the cheese in, then we'll top it off with the remainder of the biscuit batter. Normally we call that biscuit dough, but this is so wet, I'm going to call it a batter because you pour it in. And that should be just the right amount, just like that. And now all you have to do is close it and set a timer for 13 minutes. That's what I like. Now I have some leftovers from the restaurant, the Mexican restaurant we went to last night and I've just warmed those up and I'm going to enjoy that with this delicious Cheddar Bay Biscuit. Look at that. It's wonderful. Alright, take a look. Beautifully done on both sides. A light, crisp outer shell and tender and moist and cheesy inside. Let me have a taste of this. Mmm, that is so good. I hope you give this a try. Hey, and I appreciate you watching my videos. Please hit the share and like buttons if you will. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Bye now.